policymakers around the world view big data today, I think, like, oh, I'd say pollution. Um, yeah, I guess we have to have it because you know it does drive, but boy, we better deal with the negative and the hearings that you see in Congress with companies that are, you know, quote unquote, respected global consumer brands, but the invective and the discussion, I mean, these folks are certainly treated like polluters today, defending their very existence. Um, not yet like tobacco, but I think, you know, heading there. And I think the challenge for us is to figure out, you know, what is the rational path to be able to discuss the benefits and not let the risks um, break um, some of the policy view of the growth of the benefits, because I think we're starting to see that clash um, uh, right now. And so it behooves, I think, the um, folks who are uh, championing the innovative uses of data to uh, have those answers in place. And, and some of those answers, I think, as Jeff said, are you know minimization and choice and so forth. But some of it actually may be recognizing that there are certain data sets that, by the fact that they exist, it creates policy and ethical challenges. And we might need a debate in some cases when we understand that, yes, there is risk. Government can get this. Here's, however, the benefit. Better marketing? Well, maybe we don't want to risk you know, lots of people being imprisoned or you know, horrible uh, negative effects for a little bit of marketing. Are we going to do any significant societal benefits? And rarely do we have that debate. It's always as if we magically provided you know, the right choice, it would work out. We rarely say, you know what? It's a little bit risky to have this, but here's how this is going to benefit society. So 